You know, I've always loved the look of anamorphic lenses. Just something about the overall appearance from the wide aspect ratio and the cinema feel that they give. And yes, I do love the flares that can be had from anamorphic lenses. But for me, I've always had to rent them as they were out of my budget to own as they can come in at a very steep cost. Much more than I'm willing to shell out. Is there an alternative to spending a ton of money that can still give you the anamorphic look? Well, yes and no. And yes, if you're willing to do a little bit of post-production work in editing, then you don't even have to buy a lens. You can just use the camera lens that you have. But let's back up a bit and talk about the origins of anamorphic lenses. The history of an anamorphic lens is quite unique as they were first used in World War I. The process of anamorphosing lenses was developed by Henry Christian during World War I to provide a wider angle view for military tanks. Henry J. Christian was born in Paris in 1879. He was an astronomer, professor, and inventor. Anamorphic lens cylinders had been used in tank periscopes during World War I to get that wider look outside, and Christian developed a hypergonar lens in 1927 for photography and cinematography. The format didn't take off until 1952, when 20th Century Fox bought the rights from Christian for their cinemascope process. They were first used in film for the film The Robe, which premiered in 1953, which was the first feature film release that was filmed with an anamorphic lens. Today they are still a popular lens, just not for the wide format or even the distinct light flares that they can create, but also for their unique oval bokeh, and they give a distinct depth of field. But today we're going to talk about an adapter that you can screw on to your existing lens and it can create those sought after blue streaks that are notorious with anamorphic lenses. Now you might not like the blue streaks, maybe you prefer gold, orange, or rainbow colored streaks, and guess what, those are available also. You can also find them in various lens filter sizes from anywhere from 52 millimeters on up, and you simply screw them on and you rotate the outer portion of the lens which will adjust the angle of the flares. Now you would assume that you need to turn the blue lines on this filter horizontally to get a horizontal flare, but it's actually the opposite. You turn until the blue lines are vertical on the outside of the lens and that will create the horizontal flares internally. Now let's take this out with the Sony a7 IV at night and see it in action.
are these perfect? No. But pretty darn good if you're on a budget and you want to get that cinema look from your existing camera and lenses. Now a few things to note. On a wide angle lens you'll see more pronounced bends in the flares as opposed to a narrower lens. Also, whenever putting glass over your lens, you're taking away some of the image quality so using these will take away some of the sharpness that your lens normally produces. And here's another side note, very important, put a little bit of oil on the threaded portion of this streak lens filter thread. Just a tiny bit as you don't want to run the risk of screwing this onto your camera lens and having a very hard time removing them. Trust me on this. What I usually do is just take a little bit of face oil, put it on my fingertip and rub it onto the threads. That way it's enough lubrication for easy on and off. Now the final thing is the widescreen look. Now many people today just add black bars on the top and bottom and that's fine for some. But if you want your video to really show in a widescreen aspect ratio, then here's where the post-processing comes in. On a 4K video, your dimensions are 3840 by 2160. In your editing software, just change it to 3840 by 1634. Now you have a widescreen video and you still have the ability to move the frame up or down to get the composition you want for that given scene. Will this mimic an anamorphic lens 100%? Absolutely not. And the biggest factor is the bokeh will not be oval, but round. But being on a budget, these are a great thing to have in your camera bag for pennies on a dollar over a traditional anamorphic lens. Tell me in the comments section down below your thoughts on these. Product links down in the description below, and I'll catch you in the next review.